Okay, hello. So in our story, Pictor, we came across several of these italicized words here. Um, ad willam, in horto, ad yanuam, and in culina. And how do we translate them? To the house, in the garden, to the door, in the kitchen. So what do we call these small short words in English? In other words, what part of speech are they? Yes, these are prepositions. So here, please complete, uh, please begin completing the notes I handed out in class. And feel free to stop the video if you ever need to catch up with your note taking. So prepositions are short words in English used to form phrases that express uh, time, a space, or some other sort of relationship. So now uh, take a minute to think about um, what are some common prepositions in English. List a few in your notes. Okay, so in Latin, prepositions are always followed by a noun or a pronoun. And together this phrase gives us more information about what's going on in the sentence. So prepositions answer questions like where, when, or how, or under what conditions. But in Latin, prepositions are always followed by a noun or pronoun, even if they aren't in English. They will never appear by themselves. And the word that follows a preposition is called the object of the preposition. And in Latin, the objects of prepositions are either in the accusative or ablative case. And I'll take a minute to type out that word for you. Ablative case. These prepositions take an accusative object. Ad, which means to or towards, and prope, which means near. And these prepositions take an ablative object, again, ablative. In, which means in, or sometimes on, and a, which means from, or away from. So we're not going to formally talk about the ablative case right now, um, but just for our purposes right now, the ablative endings to help you form these prepositional phrases are, in the first declension, it's the letter a, with a macron over it, a long mark, like so. In the second declension, it is a long O, like so. And in the third declension, it, the ending is simply the letter E. Okay, now you try. So using the Latin word for kitchen, which as we all know is culina, complete these following sentences and make sure you put culina into the correct case depending on the preposition. Stop here if you need to. Okay, in this section, try using the Latin word for market, which is the neuter, second declension noun, forum. And again, you need to change the endings of the noun based on the preposition that's used. Take a minute here to stop the video if you need to. And finally, try with the Latin word for ship. It's a third declension noun. Um, that is nawis. Okay, and again, make sure you're changing the endings based on the preposition. And I know that third declension is sometimes strange with the stem. The stem would be nav, and you just add the endings to that. So, yay, prepositions! That's basically all you need to know about prepositions in Latin.